Hello, welcome to my channel. This is the part 2 video of how to create accessories in Clo 3D. In this video, I will show you two examples of how to make glasses and register to an avatar. If you have seen the part 1 video, the process of making glasses is pretty similar to making a pair of earrings. You can download both glasses for free on Clo Set Connect website just click the link in the video description. Before you start, try to find pictures of the glasses with front and side view. A glasses diagram is even better. This will save you a lot of time and you don't have to start from scratch. For the first example, I am going to create an aviator style sunglasses. Bring out an avatar in 3D window, and pick whatever fabric you want to use to make the patterns. There is no sewing or simulation needed during the whole process. So the fabric you choose won't affect the result. Once you have the avatar, go to 2D window. Zoom in to get a close-up of the head silhouette of the avatar in 2D window. This will be your size guide to make glasses. Go to toolbar and use rectangle tool to make a rectangle shape across the eye area over the avatar silhouette. Then use graphic tool to bring out the front view sunglasses picture onto the pattern piece. If you are not familiar with how to add graphics, please check out my previous videos. Once you bring out the picture, take a look of the glasses picture in 3D window. Adjust the graphic size to fit the avatar proportionally using transform graphic tool. You can also use gizmo in 3D window to move the rectangle piece closer to the avatar to get a better idea of the size. Once you are done, select the piece, right-click to make a copy and right-click again to paste to get a second rectangle shape. Use the same way to upload the side view glasses picture onto this piece. The glasses picture I am using has front the side views together. So I just need to use transform graphic tool to move the picture up to see the side view. By the way, here is a picture to show you the names of the glasses parts. I will make two rims, two lens, two temples, two temple tips, one bridge, one top bar, two nose pads, two pad arms. How detail you want for your glasses is up to you, so it's not necessary to have nose pad or pad arms. Now I have adjusted the glasses graphic to the size I want, I can start using internal polygon to trace the rims of the glasses. Since it's a symmetrical glasses, I only need to trace one side, and then duplicate symmetrical pattern later. After tracing the rim of the glasses, select all the traced internal line, right click and choose clone as pattern. It will generate a new pattern of the glasses rim. Use transform pattern tool to select this piece. Right-click and choose Offset as Internal Line. Enter the amount for the internal line to create the lens pattern. Right after the internal lines have been created and all the lines are still highlighted as yellow. Right-click them and choose Cut and Sew. You will get the lens pattern. Lower particle distance of these two pieces to one or less to make the curve line smooth. Also in property editor. Add thickness to the glass rim. Scroll up to curve side geometry. Check 3D window while you adjust it. Once I am happy with the thickness, I will assign a new fabric to the lens pattern. This way, you will be able to change colors of the frame and lens separately. Select both pattern pieces using Transform Pattern Tool, right-click and choose Symmetric Pattern. Clo will generate the other side of the glasses.
Now we are going to make pattern of the bridge and top bar. You can use either polygon tool or internal polygon to trace and make these two pattern pieces. Remember to lower the particle distance to 1, so you will get a better shape. Then add thickness. Make sure your thick texture view is on in 3D window to be able to see the thickness rendering. Once you have the pieces ready, use Gizmo to place the bridge in between two rims in 3D window. Take your time, you might have to change different views many times to place a small piece like this. Adjust the size and thickness if you need to. Make sure the connection of the bridge and rims is smooth. Then repeat the same for the top bar. As for the nose pads and pads arms. This is optional depending on how realistic you like your sunglasses to be. They are very small pieces, so it can be hard to place them. You can hide avatar with shortcut shift A. Place them from the inside, then bring the avatar back to check if they are in the correct spot. The next step is trace the pattern for temples and temple tips. Go to the second rectangle piece where you have the side view graphic. Use the same way trace the shape and clone as pattern. I want the tip to be a different color, so I will assign a new fabric to the pattern. Lower particle distance to 1. Add thickness, and adjust curve side geometry. Select both piece, use gizmo to rotate them and bring it closer to the ear. Place the edge of the temple to the rim. If the temple is too straight and won't touch the glass rim, you can create internal lines in the temple pattern. Then go to 3D window toolbar and use fold arrangement. Click one internal line at the time, use green or red arrow to curve the temple pattern angle. Make sure you don't adjust too much on each internal line, or you will get a sharp angle. Now I am good with the placement of the temple and temple tip. I can select both pieces, right click and choose symmetric pattern. The other opposite side will be created in both 2D and 3D window. Check different view and see if you need to adjust the placement of the other side's temple and tip. Once everything is done, delete avatar and save the pattern as project. This way, you will get a PNG file to use as thumbnail later. Next step. Go to top toolbar, under file, choose export as FBX. For the initial file save, in the part 1 video I have mentioned that when you export earrings as FBX. You need to type earring with uppercase E and singular. For glasses, you need also use uppercase G. However, this time it needs to be plural. So you need to add ES after glass. Once you click save, in the export FBX window, make sure you select single object, thick, check if you need to change the basic information according to your setting, and click OK. Bring the avatar back.
Go to top window bar, under avatar, select register accessory. In the pop-up window, choose glasses for the accessory type. Click file icon to upload the FBX file you just exported earlier which will be glasses with uppercase G and plural. Then click use custom image, and click plus sign to use the PNG picture from your project file. Click create. And the sunglasses will be registered to the Clo avatar. To check if it's been registered properly, delete the pattern in 2D window. Add the ZACS file you just created from registered accessory to the 3D window. Change pose to see if it's moving along with the avatar. And there. That's how you will create glasses and register to avatar in Clo 3D. For the second demonstration, I am using this sunglasses picture with front view only, but since the lens are transparent, I can see partial of the temples. In this case, I would have to use my imagination to complete the shape. So let's follow the same process as the previous example. First, I will make a rectangle with shortcut S. Use graphic tool to import the sunglasses picture. Right click on the piece, make a copy and paste to get the second rectangle. This piece will be used for temple pattern. It's a symmetrical glasses without bridge in the middle. I usually will trace half of the frame and the lens first. Select all the lines of the frame, right click and choose cut. Delete the extra piece. Right click on the center front segment line of the frame, and choose unfold. Then select all the lines of the lens piece, right click to make a copy and mirror paste. Place the new piece on the other side of the frame. Select all the internal lines of the lens, right click and choose cut and sew. Delete graphic picture. Lower particle distance on both pieces to one or less. Go to 3D window, use gizmo to place the glass frame and lens close to eyes and nose. There's no set rule for the placement, just use your own judgment. Add thickness and adjust curve side geometry to the pattern pieces according to your preference. Assign a new fabric to lens pattern so you can change color of the frame and lens separately after you register the accessory. Now I am happy with the placement of the frame. I will start tracing the temple pattern from the second rectangle. You can either right click to clone as pattern or right click to cut and sew. It's your choice. Once you have the pattern, go to Property Editor to lower particle distance. Add thickness and adjust curve side geometry. Use gizmo to place the temple to the idea spot. When it's done, make a copy and mirror paste to get the opposite side of temple. Adjust the placement in 3D to make sure both sides look even. Change different view angles to double check if the glasses sit right on the avatar. When you are happy with how it looks, remove avatar and save the patterns as project. Go to File, Export as FBX. 
In the file save window, make sure to type glasses with uppercase G and plural with ES at the end. Click save to bring out the export FBX window. Select single object, thick, and check basic information. Then click OK. Bring back avatar. Go to top window toolbar, under avatar. Click register accessory. Choose glasses for accessory type. Upload the glasses FBX file you exported earlier. This will be the file name with uppercase G and plural glasses. Click use custom image, click plus sign to add a thumbnail using the PNG picture from your project file. Then click create. And glasses will be registered. Delete the pattern in 2D window. Add the glasses back to the 3D window to check if your glasses has been registered correctly. Now you should be able to make accessories in Clo 3D after watching part 1 and part 2 video. Click the link in description if you like to download both sunglasses from this video for free. Thank you for watching. I hope you find this video helpful. Please leave your comments. And don't forget to click like and subscribe.